And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds and counting. 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff at Space Shuttle Columbia. There's a concept in Hinduism of dharma, which is the idea of your duty. Columbia, the international research mission finally underway. I think that when I first kind of started learning about Kalpana's story, my dharma kind of expanded. The things that I could be also kind of started to expand. I've always kind of felt that there was this strong association to dharma. She had a duty to her family and to the community that she lived in and for a long time I also kind of felt like this duty to take care of my family, to do well in my studies. And because of that sense of duty, it can sometimes feel like you have to make a lot of sacrifices. I think my dharma really has kind of expanded since I've started working with Maidam. My view of everything that my life could be has kind of expanded. I have a duty to my community to teach and empower girls and youth of color. And I have a duty to myself to be the best educator that I can be, to contribute as much as I can to my community. Being able to be a part of the education sphere and teaching kids how to code has kind of been a part of my dharma to my community and kind of giving back to my community. It's really hard to see yourself in a space where there aren't any people who look like you or are like you or who have stories similar to your own. When I talked to Mia about her story, I found so many similarities to my story. I had a very bad stutter, and I was very self-conscious and I never spoke. When I first began speech therapy when I was around in second grade, I would talk, but I would be very hesitant. If I were to say something and if I would stutter, I would completely rearrange it or I would just not say it at all. I would just say, oh, never mind. After I went to Camp Shout Out, they helped me with different strategies. It was a pretty cool experience because it was filled with people who were exactly like me. And thankfully to them, uh, I don't have an IEP anymore because it was lifted last year. And I no longer need help from a stutter. To watch my daughter come home and be crying because of a child or something was teasing her or she was too embarrassed to give a, a presentation at school or, and to see her crying as a father, it breaks you. It breaks you down. And to actually see her overcome that and get through that is incredible to me. Mia has always been interested in STEM. She actually started with doing projects with her dad when she was about seven years old. Um, and with Maidam, she's been able to advance those interests into actual reality. This summer, she was working with a company as an intern, and Mia got this huge interest in becoming a designer, a web designer. With almost every single job that I would do, I would be like, oh my gosh, everybody is going to know more than me. But it was never the case. Almost everyone is at the exact same skill level. Maybe some know a little bit less, some a little bit more than me. But at the same time, I can also learn from those other people. And I can also teach um, other stuff that I know to people that they don't know. 
because you're in Matum, right? So you're learning tech and STEM and your potential for earning money is pretty high because of the skill set that you're learning and your internship and the jobs that you go into. There's two different things about getting a lot of money, but managing it, right? So our goal is to help you maintain it and keep it and manage it. The experience that you can get by being involved in programs such as Matum can have impact that we don't always realize when it comes to our youth. Along their journey and as they're going out into the world, they're able to kind of reflect back and know, I have this experience. It gives them the opportunity to walk in that room, I think with their head held a little bit higher. One of the methods that we use at Matum to teach kids how to code is building blocks. For example, with Legos, you build it up block by block, and in the same way, you can divide code into blocks of code where you can take this huge problem that you're trying to solve. When you are building something, or like when you're kind of creating something from scratch, and when you're encountering this huge problem, it's always possible to break it down and to approach it in new ways, and in that way, like you can make any of your ideas and any of your dreams possible. It's something that can be done by anyone. I think Matem is important to our community because it's giving girls and students of color the opportunity to be involved, to walk in that space, gain confidence, gain experience, so that when they are presented with that opportunity, they're that much more ahead. My experience with Matem was definitely the best thing I've ever experienced when it comes to coding. Not only do they support minority students, but they also support women in that type of business. When it comes to the Matem program, I think that it's opened a door for a lot of kids to express themselves, to really learn about what this world is about and to have Mia go into this program and then go into an internship where she can see what it's like to be into technology or make a website or help a company to maintain their systems. It's amazing to have a program like Matem to do that for her and learn what the world is like and what she can accomplish is, I wish other kids can really experience that. I really, really do. I think that Matem has equipped Mia in ways that I don't think any organization could have done. I have seen Mia grow emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. I see a girl who is brave, who is smart, who is not afraid to take the next step, no matter what anybody says or thinks about her. For, for anyone who is watching this video and really want to go into STEM, I would tell them to just go for it. My great aunt always told me, dreaming is free, so dream big. <laughs>